Street new laws will make it a criminal offence for asylum seekers to enter the UK without permission. The change will give police the power to lock up illegal migrants uh, and put them on trial instead of sending them to a hotel or a detention centre while their asylum claim is processed. The default will be that you will be locked up and deported rather than go through the asylum process. Well, let's talk about this with Alp Mehmet, who's chairman of Migration Watch UK. Good morning to you, Alp. Morning to you, Matt. Um, this will be very controversial with a lot of people, uh, certainly in the media uh, and in the House of Commons. Perhaps not so controversial for a lot of my listeners and the general public who, whatever their thoughts on, on legal migration and the numbers, uh, certainly are opposed to illegal migration. Do you welcome this move? Absolutely right. Well, it's not a case of welcoming it. First of all, as you've intimated, I think... There's a lot of courage involved here on the part of Freddie Patel because she's going to be absolutely lambasted by the usual culprits. Uh, the fact is that it's a long way before it becomes law anyway. Yeah. Um, thirdly, will it work? <laughs> I'm not sure. You that and your it difficult will, questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just wondering surely the human I, rights I just, I just lawyers see... will have a field day, won't they? Well, the human rights lawyers and others will have a field day, absolutely right. But there's a lot of this that actually can already be done. What is it that we're suggesting here, that anyone who's picked up in the channel trying to get over here is going to be arrested, um, charged, and then taken to court? It just won't happen. So th there's a bit of bluster about this, I, I think. The fact is that so long as we're not sending people back, we're not returning people, there's no significant numbers being returned, yep. they will keep Coming. And that's it's the key easy, issue, is isn't it? It's one thing. Okay, so you're so you're going to be put on criminal, uh, you know, charges, and, and we're told you know, maybe go to prison or be deported. But the reality is, the vast majority of people aren't deported, even when they have committed a crime here, a very serious crime. They still end up staying here. And we've seen some extraordinary instances where people who have been uh, being faced with deport people, even for people who've you know served time for for gang rapes and the like, and people on the plane saying, "Oh no, this is terrible. These people must be allowed to stay here," uh, which I find quite bizarre. But this is the thing: where are we going to deport these people? People too. I mean, France doesn't want them. Uh, quite understandably, well, they're not French citizens. The, uh, the, the a lot of these people they destroy their paperwork. There's no record of where they are from, and it's virtually impossible to get rid of them. In which case, um, I mean, we're going to be stuck with these people anyway. Is it? Well, is this all just you, a pretense? <laughs> uh, they mean it. They want to stop it. This won't be the way to do it. And you're absolutely right in pointing to the French they're really crucial and frankly without any new laws if the french were a prepared to uh deal with people before they set off and do something about them coming into their country at their borders and the eu could do more there then once we pick them up if they were prepared to take them back then something might happen it would stop until that moment comes i'm afraid they will continue coming and we are now heading towards over 20,000 this year alone. And where, what what happens to them right now? Because we see these people being you know arriving on these lifeboats and the Royal Navy vessels, and then and they're you know they're they're sort of sent off some in hot you know treated in, uh, in ambulances, and then they're sent off to these detention camps. Um, do, do the vast majority of them get granted asylum? Do they get you know you say they don't get deported? What happens to them? Well, more importantly, it's not a case of being granted asylum. They, they never leave. Mm. Very, very few actually leave. And, and that's the point. And I, I see that one of the proposals is that uh, those who are allowed to stay, not given asylum, will be allowed to stay for uh, 30 months, I think, with a periodic uh, check on whether or not we can send them back yet. That's bananas, frankly. That simply won't work. What we've got to do is show some tough love, really. Okay. Pick them up, take them straight back, then they will stop coming. Up, Mehmet, uh, Chairman of Migration Watch, thank you very much indeed for joining us.